Good evening, Bikini Bottom. This is Perch Perkins reporting live from the studio with breaking news. Just moments ago, Jocker Jr. announced that he is sus. Oh no, this can't be happening. SpongeBob, can you tell us more about your reach into this shocking news? Well, I've known Jocker for years and he's always been such a stand-up guy. I never would have thought he could be sus. And what exactly do you mean by sus? You know, suspicious, like someone who might be up to no good. Interesting. Let's see if we can get another perspective on this situation. Murkraps, are you there? Aye aye, Archie boy, what's all this talk about Jector being sus? Apparently he made an announcement just now that has everyone talking. Can you shed some light on it for us? Well, I hate to say it, but Jector has always been a bit off his record if you know what I mean. Always talking about these crazy inventions and experiments. Um, sounds like there may have been warning signs all along. Squidward, are you still on the line? Unfortunately, yes. What do you make of all this? Do you think Jocker could really be capable of something sinister? Oh, please, if anyone in Bikini Bottom is capable of anything other than making Krabby Patties or playing clarinet badly. Hey, guys, I just heard the news. Jocker says... Yes, Patrick, that's what we're discussing. What are your thoughts on this? Well, I always knew there was something fishy about him. He never invited me to any of his experiments. Interesting observation, Patrick. Sandy, do you have any insight on this situation? Oh, for Pete's sake, Jocker is not sus. He's just a brilliant scientist who may have made a few mistakes along the way. And what about his latest announcement? Do you think it could be true? Of course it's true. He wouldn't lie about something like that. Hey, Perchy boy, can I chime in here? <laughs> Larry, go ahead. Dude, this is gonna make for some epic beach gossip. Dr. Being Sus, this is huge. Perch, it's Merspoff. Can we please change the subject now? This whole thing is giving me anxiety. Sorry, Merspuff, but our viewers want to know more about this shocking news. Karen and Squilliam are also on hold, and they both seem eager to share their thoughts as well. I've been monitoring Octor for years, and he has shown signs of instability before. This announcement does not surprise me at all. As expected from someone with such low class and intelligence like Octor Jr., it was only a matter of time before he revealed his true colors. Well, folks, there you have it. A mix of shock, denial, and even some accusations. We'll continue to follow this story and bring you any updates as they come in. This is Perch Perkins signing off from the studio. Stay tuned for more on this developing situation.